It's the end of the week and that means it's time for the news of the week on the Evo India YouTube channel. Over the last week there have been number of launches in the country, there have been global unveils, there have been some massive investments and there have been some cool motorcycles launched. We're going to dive into every single one of those things. First up, the new 2023 Porsche Cayenne and Cayenne Coupe have been launched in India. The Cayenne, it costs rupees 1.36 crores. The Cayenne Coupe, rupees 1.41 crores. These are obviously in their base spec and they can be spec'd up from there. This is a mid life cycle update. It's a facelift of sorts. So you get it updated styling on the exteriors like bumpers, you get different lights, a revised LED bar at the back, and on the interiors you get slightly larger screens, a slightly larger infotainment system, a full digital console. The works. It is really well done. In terms of the engines, there's only one engine option on sale right now. You get a 3-liter V6 petrol engine, obviously turbocharged, makes 348 bhp and 500 nm of torque. Obviously, performance is quick as well. It is a Porsche, so 0 to 100 kilometers now comes in 5.4 seconds and a top speed of 248 kilometers an hour. The Cayenne, we are actually out driving it as I record this podcast. Anand is out in the hills of the Northeast driving the Cayenne and we should have the review soon on the Evo India website. Next, another luxury SUV, the BMW X5. Again, it has been a facelift, so you get small tweaks to the exterior, you get slimmer headlights, you get an illuminated grille on the X5 and you get refreshed bumpers and tail lamps. The X5 is available with both X-Line and M Sport trims on both the petrol and the diesel engine. So you get the option of both trim levels on both engine lines. You get on the interiors, updated interiors. So you get a 12.3 inch digital display, a 14.9 inch infotainment screen. Again, those twin screens, part of BMW's new interior design language looks very cool. And it must be noted that these new engines, the petrol and the diesel are both mild hybrids. And of course, adaptive air suspension is standard. In terms of prices, you'll see them on your screen right now. But like I said before, X-Line and M Sport available on both petrol and diesel. Next up, there's been big news. The Tata Group invests 4 billion pounds GBP in the UK Giga factory. So this is going to be a massive Giga factory for JLR. 4 billion pounds is basically 42 1,300 crore rupees. That's a massive number. But it is a massive investment that is going to drive EVs in the country and probably all over the world. The Giga Factory, it said, will contribute to UK's goal of becoming a global leader in battery tech. And it will be able to supply nearly half of the country's battery production by 2030, which is a massive number. It will also support 9,000 green collar jobs and it will pump a ton of money into the economy. Next up, a global unveil. Hyundai has unveiled the new Santa Fe. And take a look at the pictures and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I think it's really interesting looking. Parts of it look like a Range Rover. Parts of it look like a Defender. Parts of it, the headlights actually look very similar to what you have on the Exter. So the design, it's got a lot going on and it's very unlike any other SUV we've seen from Hyundai before, but it does look pretty cool. Now you get H pattern headlamps like the Exter, you get a full width light bar on the rear and you get 21 inch wheels. It runs on really large wheels. On the inside, it is suitably lavish. Obviously, new modern Hyundais are really well done. You get 12.3 inch twin screens. You get an interior. It has Nappa leather. It has wood. It has recycled plastic. It, the works. They've really thrown everything at the new Santa Fe. Looks very cool. Now, let's talk about bikes. The Hero Extreme 200S now gets a 4V avatar. So earlier, the naked got the 4V. Now, the fully fed bike gets the 4V. So the engine... It's familiar now. We've got a 200cc, four-valve head, oil-cooled engine, makes 18.8 bhp, 17.35 nm of torque. And that's a slight marginal improvement in power and torque from before. 6% more power, 5% more torque. And you get a five-speed transmission just like before. You get new features. You get a split-type handlebar. Previously, this being the fared version also got a single handlebar but now it is a split handlebar just like you would expect of a fully fared motorcycle you get bluetooth enabled digital instrument cluster which obviously gets a host of connectivity features and you get a rear tire hugger on the motorsport front 
TVS Racing announces the Apache Racing Experience GP Championship. Now, this is going to be a championship where budding racers can race on Apaches and make it to top forms of national motorsport. Over 1,000 customers will get the chance to participate in these races. They'll be hosted over 20 cities and they will be hosted on go-kart tracks to begin with. There will obviously be training sessions involved, so participants will get a full day of training from TVS Racing's experienced racing instructors. And winners from each city will then finally make it to the final round, which will take place in Jan 2024, and race on Apache 200s and Apache RR310s, which will be really, really something to watch out for. Another interesting development on the motorsport front, the bike sport front actually, is the launch of the Atom GP1. This is a mini moto, and it's indigenously developed in India completely by CRA Motorsports. So this is a small bike. It's not really for adults, though adults can ride it if they want to have a little bit of fun. But it's mainly to get kids who probably can't use larger motorcycles just because of they're smaller, uh, to get familiar with a motorcycle, to start racing much earlier than they usually would. The bike costs rupees 2.75 lakhs, and it is a really cost-effective way to sort of kick off your racing career. The motorcycle, it gets a 159.3cc engine, 15 bhp, 13 nm of torque, and it can reach a top speed of 105 kilometers an hour. So this is not a toy. It is serious stuff. Obviously, it is not road legal. This is not something you can register and it can only be ridden on racetracks, go-kart tracks, controlled environments. The Atom GP1 will also come with a whole racing series attached to it. So the International Motorcycle Racing Championship, INMRC, posts that there will be four rounds at the Miko Kartopia in Bangalore. And CRA Motorsports plans to expand this championship internationally to Asia, to Europe, to USA in the upcoming years. And the whole idea here is to foster grassroots racing and develop talent young when it really matters. Well, that's it for the news of the week this week. I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for tuning in.